Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to talk about Bitcoin, what's going on with Bitcoin, why is the price dumping and what do I think, what's coming next and just to give you guys my thoughts, my opinions, what's going on with the Bitcoin chart and the price of course. So then let's dive right into today's video guys, before we do that do me one massive favor, hit the like button right now, it really helps me out, it helps out the YouTube algorithm and I really appreciate all the likes, all the comments. And of course, subscribe if you haven't done so yet, because our aim is to get 10,000 subscribers this year. So guys, do me one massive favor or just start your day right by just pressing the subscribe button. Now then, let's talk about Bitcoin. So of course, we all know Bitcoin has been going down about 18% so far uh, the last few days. However, today it's slightly having a small bounce now. Now guys, I want to talk about my thoughts. If I think the dump is over or if I think potentially we could be going lower, and what do I think about it? Am I bearish? Am I panicking? So this is what I want to talk about in today's video. So then let's talk first about if I'm bearish or if I'm panic selling or if I think it's time to sell. Guys, this is my opinion. This is not advice what you should do with your crypto or your money because of course you always want to do your own decisions. It's your money. So please don't just do something because someone else said in general, guys, you always want to do something what you believe. So then... Am I selling my crypto now? Am I worried? My answer is simply no, guys. I haven't sold a single thing in the last few days. To be fair, I actually did sell a few altcoins over the weekend. So when we had the 60,000, was it 60,000 or something? When Bitcoin reached around 60,000 over the weekend, I did sell a few altcoins, which I was basically in huge profits. And guys, you know my saying, whenever you're in massive profits, you always want to take some profits, especially with all coins. Bitcoin is completely different, as I always say. Bitcoin, however, Bitcoin, however, I haven't touched and I'm not selling right now. Definitely not. Definitely not. But some old coins, even many old coins, I'm still holding on because I believe they do have a lot more potential. However, sometimes it's never a mistake to take some profits. And to be fair, looking back right now, I think it was a nice move because obviously prices have come down a lot and since i was in huge profits on these old coins hey it was a good time to sell but guys am i selling right now definitely not definitely not why am i not selling now why am i not panicking so we'll start first with very simple fundamentals guys if the market goes up and up and up and up and up without any corrections that's when i will be worried guys i've explained this so many times but i feel like i need to reassure people because i know some people are panicking right now and I'm sure many panic sold. Guys, you do not want to see a market going straight up in a straight line. And of course, that is completely unhealthy if that does happen. And that's when I will actually be worried. Corrections are very, very good for the market. It's healthy because there's so many reasons why. But the simple reasons why is when everybody's in profit, that's when you have to be worried. Because if everybody's in huge profits, then people will take profits. However, if we get corrections, that means people are selling. Other people are coming in to buy and it's just turning hands. That's a very good thing because that's how the market can climb higher and higher and higher. Guys, we have to think about everything. You can't just sit there and want every single day your portfolio to go up. It doesn't work that way. And guys, this is a very honest point here. If you can't deal with a 15 20 30 percent or 40 percent correction honestly guys i don't think you should be investing because these things are very common and not just with bitcoin and crypto with the stock markets too guys i also buy stocks and also hold shares of course majority of my personal investments are in cryptocurrencies but i do as i always say diversification is important stock markets too guys have been dumping and as i've told you guys i've been telling you guys this probably on every single video if the stock market dumps, Bitcoin will dump. And this is right here what's happening right now. From the start of this week, the stock markets have been going down. I wouldn't call this a crash at all, guys. I mean, a crash is maybe a 50, 60% move. This is maybe 20%. So this is not a crash, guys. And so far, to me, this is a correction. However, as I was saying, guys, if the stock markets will be going down, I believe Bitcoin will follow. And that's exactly what we are seeing right now. So what do I think and how do I take this or what do I do? Personally, guys, again, this is not financial advice, but personally, guys, certain things I always wanted to add more is to be simply an opportunity to buy more. Honestly, guys, I'm not panicking. I'm actually looking at some things as an opportunity to accumulate more, especially with some shares that I wanted to buy, stocks that I wanted to buy for my long-term holdings. 
so then guys going back to crypto i don't believe the bull market is over and i will show you exactly a few reasons why and and guys sometimes we have to zoom out which i'll show you in a bit we'll zoom out the charts look at the bigger picture we can't look at a shorter time frame all the time shorter time frames are good for the shorter time frame but if you are a long-term investor i mean so far there's nothing to be worried about and there are two reasons why some people are panicking and probably these are the main people that are panic panicking right now the people that bought the top for example people that bought the elon musk tweet a few days ago right these people that FOMO in because elon musk tweeted that uh, tesla could be accepted with bitcoin yes of course it's bullish it's great news but guys as we always know the charts react to the news before the news comes out so my point is you don't want to be buying the news okay and a second reason why some people are panicking are potentially because they are over leveraged especially with leverage traders if they are over leveraged of course these people are panicking because they can be losing everything if they highly leveraged so these are the two main reasons some people are panicking right now however as a hodler i'm totally chill totally relaxed and first off guys i think we bought in a long time ago i mean especially when we started doing videos bitcoin was so much cheaper and all these other old coins so we still have so much room to kind of even break even second thing guys is i know i'm talking a bit too much before we go into the charts but i think these are very important things that everyone has to guys as i've been saying all the time we why are we so successful why have we made such a successful trades and moves that's because from day one we've always said or i've always said we don't want to fomo into pumps we don't want to fomo we don't want to buy when there's some huge bullish news and everyone's talking about it and the price is pumped that's not when we want to buy we want to buy when the prices are low. We want to buy when the prices are going down. That's when we want to buy. Because those people who bought or FOMO'd in because they hear this bullish news and they feel like, oh, they're missing out. They want to catch the pump. Those are potentially people that are actually in a loss. As I said, us, we want to buy low and sell high. So, guys, let's talk about the chart now. So then, this is the Bitcoin chart. And today we want to talk about the further bigger picture and this is a daily chart zoomed out very very high now first off i don't see anything bearish so far on this chart or anything that is kind of worrying because guys look at this look at this how we've been how we are climbing up i mean this is just huge this is a few hundred percent move okay and you can see right over here where we reached forty one thousand, we had a dump and then we went back up now, the second one, when we hit 58,000, a dump, we went back up. And of course, recently, 62,000 almost, a dump, and here we are right now. First off, you guys will see this orange line over here. This is a 50 EMA. This orange line has been basically supporting Bitcoin from the start or from October, and we've held above it basically until now. And right now, as you guys will see, we are testing it over here. We've actually tested, we bounced off it. Let me make the chart slightly bigger so you guys will see. So yeah, you can see right over there, we've had a candle that bounced right off it and right now we are above it. Now you can see over here, we've had slight little wicks, but no daily closers below. Now this is a moment of truth as well, guys, because potentially we could test this again. And there are two things that could obviously happen. One is obviously we could break it. And the second thing is we can break above it. Right now we're holding above, but guys, I wouldn't be 100% confirmed that this is it. Potentially, I believe potentially there is a chance we could be going lower into the 40s, 40,000s. And uh, even if that happens, guys, I would not be bearish right now. I mean, of course, maybe for the short term, but not for the long term. This is something quite important because obviously, this line has been great support all along. So this is a moment of truth. We're going to see the next few days if this can actually hold. Now then, let's zoom back into the smaller time frame. So we'll go for the four hours. Coming into the four hour charts, as you can see, we are on a downtrend. Now, of course, you can see a slight upwards move, but potentially what could be happening is like you see all over here, we could be, you know, doing this and then going back down and then this and going back lower so of course we never go down like a straight line like that of course so that's potentially something that could happen or it could be the bottom and we could be basically bouncing around and then before going back up 
now then looking at the ema ribbon of course we are below the four hour ribbon so we are on a four hour downtrend still and going into the one hour the same there we are on a downtrend now we're right now testing the one hour ribbon so we'll wait and see what happens with that it's still too early to tell so this is currently for the short term so then guys as i said today is more of a kind of not too much about the charts because i kind of want everybody to kind of understand and think about everything and not be emotional here and i'm not here to tell you bitcoin is bullish bitcoin is bearish i'm here to kind of give you the perspective of the whole bigger picture and what i think and guys as i said personally me i'm not bearish i'm not panic selling guys remember for me it's not a short-term thing for one week two weeks so you know yes potentially our portfolios are down today yesterday but we have a bigger picture out there i know you might be asking so when will i become bearish if something bad happens like what's the moment that will kind of change my tone on bitcoin and to me personally if we break the previous all-time high i mean when i say the previous we're talking about the one at forty two thousand dollars so if we break the previous all-time high of forty two thousand dollars that's when i might change my tone even then i mean of course i can't tell you now because obviously we need to see the situation at that time so we can analyze it then but that's potentially where i might change my tone or might kind of have a different game plan a different structure but guys this is just what i'm looking at so far chill out not panic sell and just you know just keep watching that's all guys anyways guys i'm gonna end this video here I hope I kind of brought the perspective of both sides to this video so people out there shouldn't get emotionally attached. Guys, anyways, you should not be emotionally attached to your investments. And I know it's easier said than done. I'm not going to lie, guys. I used to, especially in the earlier days, it used to affect me. Like I used to be down when the price would go down. However, guys, when you handle this for a while, you get used to it and it's kind of a normal and you kind of know the... You just kind of know it you know it and the opposite sometimes i look at these as great opportunities i'm happy sometimes in general i'm happy this happens because we need a healthy market guys we can't have a market that's just climbing up and up and up so in general this is very healthy and i'm happy for this uh i'm happy for these corrections i'm not gonna lie guys and as i said also for me sometimes these could be great opportunities these are opportunities that are here for very short times guys these opportunities don't come all the time and the ones that take the steps to take these opportunities are potentially the ones that will be successful for the long run and you know people out there will say you're so lucky you're this you're that it's not luck it's simply you analyzing the situation and then you take your steps based on the situation and of course you take your chances your risks of course it's not a gambling risk it's a calculated risk of course nothing is guaranteed at the end of the day but of course you want to do as much as homework you could as possible before you take your steps anyways guys thanks for watching this video like this video if this video helped you and if you want to buy bitcoin or ethereum if you want to catch in those dips, you can check out Swissburg. Swissburg is one of the best exchanges out there. Personally, I love them. They have the lowest fees out there. And also, if you sign up to Swissburg, it's basically like Coinbase, but much, much better. If you sign up through my referral link, you can get up to 100 euros, basically, just by signing up through my referral link. So check it out. The link is in my description. And guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.